AI agents are in vogue and now we have AI agents on operating system. AI OS is a large language model agent operating system which embeds large language models into operating system as the brain of operating system which enables an operating system with soul. This is an important step towards artificial general intelligence or AGI. AI OS is designed to optimize resource allocation it facilitates context switching across agents and it enables concurrent execution of the agent. Plus, it provides a tool service for agents, maintain access control for agents and also renders a rich set of toolkits for LLM agent developers. I will drop the link to its Hugging Face paper here in video's description so that you can read along. But let me show you its architecture which is quite fascinating if you read through it now the architecture of this ai os is organized into three distinct layers the application layer the kernel layer and the hardware layer this layered architecture ensures a clear delineation of responsibilities across the system each higher layer abstracts the complexities of the layers below it facilitating interactions through interfaces or specific modules, thereby enhancing modularity and simplifying system interactions across different layers. At the top, we have application layer. At the application layer, agent applications such as travel agent or math agent are developed and deployed. In this layer, AI OS provides the AI OS SDK or software development kit with the higher abstractions of system calls that simplifies the development process for agent developers. This SDK allows for development of agent applications by offering a rich toolkit that abstracts away the complexities of the lower level system functions. This enables developers to dedicate their focus to the essential logic and functionalities of their agents, facilitating a more efficient development process. Then we have kernel layer. The kernel layer is divided into two primary components, the OS kernel and the LLM kernel, each serving the unique requirements of non-LLM and LLM specific operations respectively. This distinction allows the LLM kernel to focus on LLM specific tasks such as context management and agent scheduling, which are truly essential for handling LLM related activities and are not typically within the purview of standard OS kernel functions. This work primarily concentrates on enhancing the LLM kernel without making significant alterations to the existing OS kernel structure. The LLM kernel is equipped with several key modules including the LLM system call interface, agent scheduler, context manager, memory manager, storage manager, tool manager and access manager. These components are designed to address the diverse execution needs of agent applications ensuring efficient management and execution within the AI OS framework. Then at the very bottom we have the hardware layer. The hardware layer comprises of physical components of the system including the CPU, GPU, memory disk and peripheral devices. It is very important to note that the LLM kernel system calls cannot directly interact with the hardware. Instead, these calls interface with the OS system calls which in turn manage the hardware resources. This indirect interaction ensures a layer of abstraction and security, allowing the LLM kernel to leverage hardware capabilities without requiring direct hardware management, which maintains the system's integrity and efficiency. So this is the whole architecture of this awesome AIOS LLM operating system. And this is just a snapshot of the memory manager. So if you look at this example, Memory manager manages short-term memory within an agent's life cycle, ensuring that data is stored and accessible only while the agent is active, either waiting for execution or during runtime. The current AI OS supports storing each agent's memory independently, each of which other agents have no direct access to, unless it is authorized by access manager. More complicated memory mechanisms such as shared memory pools among agents or hierarchical caches can be considered and integrated into AI OS in the future maybe. Now if you compare it with 
um, the storage manager memory manager enables the rapid data retrieval and processing facilitating swift responses to user queries and interactions without overburdening the storage of ai os let me show you another interesting example so this is a sort of a motivating example of how an agent and that is travel agent in this case requires both llm level and os level resources and functions to complete a particular specific task and this is a typical example which is showing that how an llm based agent solves real world tasks given the trip organization request from the user the travel agent decomposes the task into executable steps then it follows the steps sequentially to book flights reserve hotels process payments and update calendars based on user's preferences during the plan execution agents show the reasoning and decision making abilities which sets it apart from the traditional software applications that are constrained to a predefined set of functions or workflows to realize this travel scenario the agent needs to interact with both llm services for example retrieving and understanding user preferences deciding which tool api to call generating reviews and responses and also it has to interact with traditional operating system services such as accessing disk drivers and executing software now these days we are seeing an exponential growth in the agent quantity and complexity and also there is an increasing strain on the functionalities of llm and operating system because all of this scheduling and prioritizing agent request in limited llm resources poses a significant challenge moreover the llm's gen generation process can become time intensive when dealing with lengthy context which that occasionally results in generation being suspended by the scheduler this also raises the problem of devising a mechanism to snapshot the llm's current generation result which enables pause resume behavior even when the llm has not finalized the response generation of the current request now that is where this aios promises to help this is an llm agent operating system to provide module isolation and aggregations of llm and os functionalities to address the potential conflicts arising between tasks associated with llm and those unrelated to llm the design of llm specific kernel in this aios is the heart and crux of this whole idea in my humble opinion anyway um i will drop the link to this whole paper and stuff in video description please read through it let me know your thoughts i am very impressed by it and i am very hopeful that this is going to be a big thing very soon if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching